Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids, and what I've got here is the Logitech G502 Proteus Core tunable gaming mouse. This is packed full of features, and it actually forms part of my 2014 PC build. Not to the actual build itself, but in fact to the products that I've been using after the build to enhance my gaming and use experience of this particular PC. And this is a very comfortable and ergonomic mouse. It's also tunable as well. Let's just run through some of the specifications and then have a closer look at the mouse itself. So this has got 11 programmable buttons. It's also got surface tunable gaming sensor with exclusive Delta Zero technology. And you can add up to 3.6 grams of weight to the base of the mouse to really uh, customize it to your personal preference. And the weights really do make a difference because it's quite a lightweight mouse without any of the weights in. And I prefer a slightly heavier mouse. Now you can see the weights just here. So we get a little pack of weights inside the box. And they're in their own little case, so you don't lose them. And you simply add them to the base of the mouse. Now, very easy to get into. You just remove this bottom section and you place the weights in the base of the mouse here. Very, very easy to add and take those weights off. So really impressed with how tunable this is. Now, with regards to resolution and the tracking capability of the G502, it's actually got five on-the-fly adjustable DPI settings, 200 to 12,000 DPI, and it really is smooth for tracking. Very, very good indeed. I've been really impressed. Like, not just a little bit impressed, this has actually blown me away. I've been a long-time fan of Logitech products, including their other mice in their range and their trackpads, and this, has blown me away. Very, very cool and very comfortable as well. I'll tell you what adds to the comfort. Before, Logitech mice have been very ergonomic. So they fit nicely in the hand. I've got medium sized hands here and it fits very comfortably. But they're normally made of different grade plastics that aren't very grippable. But on this particular one, on the G502, we've got some sort of rubberized and textured material on the side and that is also just under here in the thumb rest area. And that really adds to how the mouse feels in the hand. So really good job on that front. Now we've also got a nice braided cable. That's nice to see. That means that you're really dealing with a quality product. I love braided cables on products and it connects via USB. Now moving on, we're gonna just take a look at the base again. These are really low friction feet and that aids to how smooth it is when gliding across a desk surface or a uh, mouse mat, for example. And we've also got a really nice scroll wheel. This scroll wheel does not have a ratchet mechanism in this particular mode and it just scrolls really nicely. Now, of course, you can click this button in and then have the ratchet mechanism on. So let me just show you that close up again. So we've got a free scrolling wheel, very smooth and very fast, or we can click this button in and then you've got that sort of ratchet feedback. Very, very cool. I absolutely love this mouse. It is very good indeed and, and has definitely enhanced my enjoyment of the 2014 PC that I've just built. So this is the Logitech G502 Proteus Core tunable gaming mouse. If you want to check out the links in the video description, there are links to all of the other videos in this particular PC build series, so you can see all the other components and the other products I've used to enhance my experience. But for now, I'll just leave you with this, a real high recommendation for an awesome gaming mouse. Thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button, please subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see another video of mine, please do click the annotation on the top of your screen now. And also, you can click the annotation on the bottom of your screen and subscribe to the Geek Noise channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again next time.